How fast can somebody make a YouTube short? Is it worth it for businesses using them for their marketing? We'll answer those questions and so many more. This is YouTube Shorts for newbies. We're gonna start at the beginning and show you how to build your first YouTube short from scratch. Or if you've already created it in another program, we'll show you exactly how to upload it and the most important settings that you're gonna wanna have. And stay till the end because I'm gonna show you my actual workflow for uploading YouTube Shorts to get the most out of every single one you put up. Because if you're gonna take the time to make them, even if it's fast, you want it to do as well as possible, right? Let's jump onto my phone and walk through the process. So first, let's make sure we're on the same page. What is a YouTube short? They are vertical videos like this designed to be watched on a phone and people can flip through them in just seconds. They can be up to 60 seconds long. Oh, there's me. Hey, good to see me there. And the best part about them is they can be shown to people who have not necessarily searched for them or that you have to have a big subscriber count or anything like that. You could literally start a brand new channel with zero subscribers and your first short is probably going to get seen by some people. So in the YouTube mobile app, you'll see the second tab there on the bottom row says shorts. You can tap that and that's where you would access these videos to watch. But we're actually gonna go to that third thing, the plus sign in the middle and tap that in order to create a YouTube short. Hi, here I am. By the way, if you've already created your short in another app and you want to just upload it, go to the chapters in the description of this video, you can skip to the exact part that you are looking for at any time. So this is the recording interface and this is where you can record your video that's going to become your YouTube short. Now, if you already have a video that you made elsewhere and it's saved on your phone in your camera roll, you can tap that little button or that little image on the lower right there and you can grab the video from there. But for this, let's record a brand new YouTube short. And the main thing you need to know about right now is that little circle on the upper, let's see, I don't know which side I showing for you right there. That is the amount of time that you have to record. So YouTube shorts can be up to 60 seconds long. No 61, no 60 and a half. Uh, you'll see that says 15 seconds. And essentially, if you want a shorter video by default, you can have that limited up there so you know when you hit 15 seconds. So if I tap on that with my finger, you can see I can change it to 60 seconds or back to 15 seconds. So we'll just put it on 60 seconds just so we have as much time as we need. Now, a few other things on the screen before we hit that big record button there at the bottom. Uh, in the top middle there, you can click add sound. And in here, you have access to all kinds of music that YouTube has cleared the rights for you to use in your YouTube shorts, including commercial music. So you can see Imagine Dragons is there. You can find Beyonce, Taylor Swift, almost anything that you're looking for. Now, if you wanted to add music before you started recording so you could hear it while you were recording, if you're a dancer, I am not, uh, that's when you would do it here before we hit record, but we'll walk through the music interface a little bit more here in a second after we record our clip. That bar over there, these are all the different tools that you have. So the first one is flip, flips to the reverse camera on your phone. The next one is timer, so I can tap that. And there's a couple of things you can set here. So I showed you where you could set the 15 and the 60 second timer. Well, maybe you want a video that is exactly 33 seconds. Well, you can drag it and say, okay, I want this to be exactly 33 seconds. And then the other one at the top there is under countdown, you can change it. And it'll tell, it'll basically give you a countdown as you're recording. So we have three seconds, 10 seconds or 20 seconds. And the neat thing about that is maybe you have to hit record and then you have to get into position or something like that. And so what that does is gives you the ability to have a few seconds to be ready to go. And it saves on editing later because you can get that part out of the way and not have to chop that part of the video out. Next underneath that is the speed. So if you wanna change the speed that it's gonna record for some certain effects beforehand, uh, you can tap that and change the speed to be all the way from 0.3x to 3x, which would be three times as fast as normal. Next there is effects, and these are you know some interesting uh, effects that you can use, like this one's super creepy, always smile, I'll tap on that. And it means as I talk, I'm always smiling in a super creepy Joker from the Batman uh, sort of way. So I'm gonna tap that again to, to remove that there, but you can play with these if you want. And then that second tab there, Street View, this is if you wanna pretend that you are somewhere. So you can tap on those and it sort of makes a, you know, a green screen out of your background, if you will. And you can show like you are certain places, like I'm in the International Space Station. Next up under effects is green screen. And this is basically where you can add different backgrounds from your own camera roll. So 
here's a photo that I took on a recent hike and I wanna pretend that I'm back out there. Now these always look like the lighting never really quite looks right, but they can be fun. Or if you're trying to demonstrate a specific thing, show it on the screen behind you. These can be really effective to use. I'll scroll back to the beginning and remove it. Next up is filters. So before we saw those effects that were kind of, you know, change the way your face looks and things like that. These are filters. So this is just kind of to change your lighting and your color, uh, things like that. And so if you wanted to, um, you can play with these. And then this slider at the bottom, you can adjust how much of that effect that you want to have showing on there. Next one under that is retouch. So you can tap that and it basically will like smooth out your skin. I like to look the way that I look in real life, but at the same time, if this makes you more confident on camera and you are willing to actually make videos because of a filter like this, 100% support you using it to get your videos, get your content and get what you have to offer the world out there. And that last one says lighting. I'm gonna actually have to turn off my studio lights to show you this. Alexa, turn off the studio lights. So now I'm sitting here in the dark, I can tap that and it turns the lighting on. So it just kind of brightens the whole thing or I can turn it back off like so. Alexa, turn on the studio lights. By the way, apologies if that set off your smart speaker. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Okay, now we're ready to record our short. And as you might expect, it's that big red button on the bottom and you just hold it down in order to record and you can record multiple clips. So I can hold it down here and say, Hey, uh, have you looked at YouTube Shorts? They are an amazing opportunity and I can let go. Now you notice at the top, that whole bar across the top there, that's showing me the 60 seconds that I have to record this video. The red part is the part that I've already filled up. So maybe I wanna change the way I'm facing here and then um, say, the best part about YouTube Shorts is they are quick and easy to make. Now it takes a little bit of practice to kind of know how quickly your phone is gonna respond when you hit record and when you let go, but you can play with that or you can just err on the side of having a little bit of extra on each side of each clip and we can take that out when we edit here in just a second. If at any time you recorded a clip and you don't want it, you do get to tap that little undo button there at the bottom of the screen and it'll remove the last clip. And by the way, you can mix and match stuff you've recorded while you're doing this as well as stuff on your camera roll. So for example, I just recorded those two clips, but I could also tap on my camera roll down there and add a clip for my camera roll next, then come back and add more. But for this tutorial to keep us moving, let's just go with those two clips. Once you've got your video recorded in the way that you want it, you tap that big Big white check mark right down there in the corner. And now it is playing back the video that we just recorded. So some of the features that you can use while editing are going to be the same ones that you could use before you record it as well, but let's walk through them really quick. First one is sound. So you can search for anything that you want in here. So I could search for Taylor Swift and it would bring up all of the Taylor Swift songs that you can use. You'll notice most of them have a 60 second limit down there. A couple of filters, you can see it says all there. You can tap official music or you can tap original sounds. And this is actually bringing up sounds that you could use from other people's videos about Taylor Swift. So what I like to do is type in a descriptive word like inspirational, and then I can hit search and it's gonna bring up some of the most popular ones or ones that maybe you've looked at or used before. So I see that first one there, Epic Inspiration. And if I wanna listen to it, I can just tap on it and it'll play a little bit of it, okay? Now let's say I find a song that I want and it's not for this video, but I'm like, oh, that's great. I wanna use it for later. I can tap this little bookmark thing on the right side and that'll basically save it to my sound so that I can use it later on. Now, if this is the song you're gonna use, you can tap on it and you can see that it'll bring up that blue arrow there on the right and I tap that and it's going to add it to my video. Now, by default, the music is probably going to be too loud. So one of the first things that you're gonna to wanna to do is go in and turn down the music. So you'll see that first icon in the lower right has changed to say adjust. And so I'm gonna tap on that and that takes me back to the music. And in here, it's showing me this track is actually three minutes and 11 seconds. And so I can drag this with my finger to find the part of the song that I want to use. Now, it by default, it's gonna be queued up to the part that is most popular among other users. So once you've got the part you want, you can tap done. And then we're gonna jump over here to that volume icon and we're gonna tap on that. And so you'll see it shows original sound volume and then the epic inspiration is the music that we just chose. And if we play that back, the best part about YouTube Shorts is they are quick and easy to make. 
generally the music is gonna be too loud. And so I recommend dragging the volume of your music down lower than you think it needs to be. I often have it around six to 10% might depend on the music track that you're using for this. But what you have to keep in mind is that when people are watching your shorts, they may be in a loud area, they may be in a quiet area, they may have amazing headphones, they may have terrible headphones, they may be listening on a crappy speaker on an old phone. And so if what you're saying in your video is the most important part, err on the side of having the music too quiet. Once I've got it the way that I want it, I can swipe that bottom part down to go back to the main screen. So the next tool that we're gonna look at there says text, and you can tap that and essentially add any text that you want to appear on the screen. So I just typed why YouTube shorts are a business owner's best friend. Now on the right side of the text, you see that slider, you can move this up and down and it is resizing it, but there's a way to resize it here in just a second. The main thing you're trying to decide is should this be over three lines or four lines or two lines? So I'm gonna shrink it down so it's a two, only two lines like that. There we go. And then across the bottom, you can change the color of your text. Now let's come back to that here in just a second. If we look at the tools across the top, that first one is to change the justification. So if I tap that, you can go justified left, justified right, or justified center. The next icon, the little box with the A in it, will allow you to add a background to it or shadow to it. And you can cycle through, it looks like there's about four different options here. I like to put a colored background to it so my text is nice and easy to see. That next one in the middle where it says YouTube Sans, you can actually go through and change different fonts that YouTube offers. You can't just use any font you want. And now that I've added that colored background, I can come back down here and play with the colors here a little bit more. So once it looks the way you want it, you can tap Done. If at any point you want to actually go back and edit again, you realize you made a typo, you can tap on it with your finger and then click that edit button and it will take you back to being able to edit the text and the colors and all of that. Otherwise, hold your finger down on it. You can move it to whatever part of the screen you want. You see these lines that pop up. You don't want it at the top. You don't want it too far left or right. And then you don't want it too far to the bottom either. So I'm gonna put that kind of in that upper left corner in that safe area right there and let go. You can also, I told you you could size it later, you can also resize it or tilt it by doing pinch to zoom on your phone. Now maybe you don't want the text there the entire time. Like this is my hook, right? This is the thing I'm putting on there so that somebody swiping through shorts goes, oh, why are YouTube shorts a business owner's best friend? So if I tap on that, you can see the other option next to edit is timing and it opens a traditional video editing timeline down here below, and that orange is my hook. And so if I only want it to show up the beginning, I can tap on the white handle there at the end, and it can be a little tricky to grab, but once you have it, then you can bring it back, and that way it'll only show during the first few seconds. So I can bring my finger down here onto my actual video at the very bottom, and drag it back to the beginning, and see how the timing works out. So I probably want it a little bit longer than that. Once it's the way you want it, you can hit done, the next option down there is trim. And so this is where you can go in and you can trim your clips. Now I tried to record these so I didn't have to do a lot of editing, but you can see there's two clips there at the very bottom. So the first one is selected. And if I tap on it, it opens this screen and I can, again, grab the white handles on the side and trim them up exactly the way I want. Then I could tap on the other one, same thing, and get it the way that I want as well. When I'm done, just hit done. The next icon there is for a voiceover. So let's say your video didn't have you talking in it. You can tap that. And basically you can tap the record button or hold it down and it'll play your video so you can see what's happening. And then you could narrate and explain exactly what you wanted to say. Next is timeline. And so in here, this is again where you can adjust when stuff shows up and when it goes away. And so if you had multiple pieces of text on your screen, you can come in here and drag them to be exactly where you want. And then the last one there is filters. So I'm gonna tap on filters. because you can see as I'm cycling through these, it's just changing the way that the video looks. And so you might wanna go for a certain look for artistic reasons, or you might need to color correct your video. And so those are some nice, easy to use, pre-selected filters you can add. Now, once the short looks the way that you want it, tap the next button there on the upper right. And this brings up the publishing screen for your short. So there's some important settings you're gonna to wanna to know about. Let's walk through each section really quick. First, on the upper left there, you see a thumbnail of your video. You cannot upload a custom thumbnail like an image you created in another program, but you can tap that pencil icon and then you can use your finger or thumb to slide through and pick something that will show up as the thumbnail. So I'm just gonna look for something where my, the look on my face isn't too weird. 
which might be impossible to do, and then has the hook there on the screen as well. Once you have what you like, you can hit done. And if you can't find the thumbnail you like, don't worry about it too much. Most of the places that YouTube Shorts appear, the thumbnail is not shown. Next to that, it says caption your short. So you can type in whatever you want for your title. Just know that it's about 40 characters before it gets cut off on some views. So in a lot of cases, shorter is going to be better. Now we'll scroll down. The next option there is public. If you want, you can have it unlisted or private for now, and then you can make it public later. Or you can tap that down arrow and go in and actually schedule when you want it to go live. Now I'll tell you what I do with my actual workflow to get the most out of these here in just a second. If you wanna add a location to your video, you can tap that and search for a location. Sometimes that helps your video get seen by more people nearby. Next is select audience. Most people won't use this, but you should be aware just in case you're one of the people that should be using it. Uh, tap select audience. You can say, yes, it's made for kids or no, it's not made for kids. Answer truthfully uh, because otherwise you can get some really bad strikes against your channel. Or there is a way that at least it's probably different from country to country. Here in the US, you can restrict your video to viewers over 18. That next option, allow video and audio remixing. What this means is that people can use your audio or your audio and video to make new videos. If it's a sponsored video, tap that for ad paid promotional label. And then you have a comments filter that you can choose. So if you tap on that, you can say hold potentially inappropriate comments for review, hold all comments for review or disable comments. Now, if everything looks the way that you want it, you can tap upload short. If you've scheduled it, it won't go live until the time that you've scheduled. Or if you feel like you wanna come back, you got interrupted, whatever, you can tap save draft and it'll save this. Then if you come back to tap the plus sign like we did at the beginning to create a new short, you will see down here now it says drafts and you can tap on that and get back to the video that you were working on or videos that you were working on. Quick warning, some people use drafts as just a place to save all their stuff before it goes up, but sometimes your app can crash or you can lose your phone or you know whatever it might be. It's not perfect, so if it's a video you really want, I strongly recommend uh, scheduling it to either come up you know, months down the line and then you can change the date to be sooner or using the unlisted feature or using the private feature and then later you can activate it so that it's public and it goes out. Now I wanna show you my YouTube Shorts workflow here in just a second to get the most out of every video that you make. But if you hate the YouTube Shorts editing interface and you wanna use a different program, I've got one that's on a computer, which I love, and I'll show you what that is here in just a second. It takes me about two minutes to edit my shorts using it. But also two that work great on your phone is one is CapCut, which is actually owned by TikTok, but the free version is amazing. Or YouTube right now is rolling out their own video editing app called YouTube Create and we'll link to both of those in the description of this video. As of this recording, it's only available on Android and it's still in beta. I like to wait till things are out of beta before I uh, use them because I don't wanna be dealing with crashes on a regular basis. Now, let me show you my upload workflow to get the most out of your short. So first I start on the mobile device like this. Let me just grab a video really quick. I get everything exactly the way that I want it. Then I go to my computer, find the video on YouTube and I add two things. One, you can add a description which could help it come up in search. But then the other really killer feature that is not available on mobile is you can add a related video down here. So you can basically link to any of your videos on YouTube. So for example, this is not my main five minute social media YouTube channel. This is for my podcast, The Six Ways. And so this short is a clip of The Six Ways. And then I have it linked to the full episode of the podcast. Isn't that cool? All right, I promise to show you how I edit my YouTube shorts in a different program in about two minutes. It took me about five when I started and you can do the same thing. I've linked to that on the screen right here. Tap that and get started and see how amazing this tool is. And no, they do not pay me to say that.